for sale sign. Thought I'd say hi. Settling in okay? Oh, yeah. The house is great. Loving it. Yeah, well, I know you're new in town, so if you ever need anything or just want to grab coffee, seriously, just reach out. Yeah, okay. <laughs> well, take care. Smoking again? Smoking? No. Okay. Casually. Socially, I suppose. Socially? So you're making friends? Sure. Have you heard from... <laughs> no, he's still not responding to my texts. How does that make you feel? Like it's not him? It's me? Like I'm broken or something. The more you get to know me, the more you realize that, I don't know, I'm not worth knowing. I feel worthless, discarded. That's how I feel. But you know, good riddance, right? Sometimes. Were you happy? No. I wasn't lonely. Hi, Natalie. Hope you're settling in well. I just wanted to check in again about when we can expect you in the office. It's been a few days since my last message, and we've yet to hear back from you. How's the new job? I, uh, I pushed my start date back a week. What do your employers think about that? I mean, I uprooted my whole life for them. I think they can wait. I've been thinking. There's something we haven't talked about in a while. Spirituality. Do you have a faith? Is there anything that you believe in? Yeah, I mean, I did, or at least I used to when I was a kid, back when it was simpler. Simpler? Yeah, I mean, everything was simpler back then, right? Is that what you're looking for? Simplicity? I mean, no, but if I'm gonna believe in something, I want it to at least make sense. Natalie, what are you looking for? Natalie? 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 I, I hate 
hate to do this to you, but our time's up. So, with your new circumstances, I wanted to make sure I could still use the same credit card you have on file. Yeah, same card. Okay, great. Natalie, you take care of yourself, okay? Yeah, that's very kind of you. Totally no pressure. I know it's last minute. Yeah, no, thanks. I appreciate it. I, I can't tonight. I'm still settling in. <laughs> I saw. I mean, I figured. Um, okay then, let me know if you need anything. Thanks. Oh, actually, um... Yeah? This is gonna sound strange, but do you know any good carpenters? Are you looking for me? No. Well, I guess I must be the one that's looking for you then. I'm, I'm just up the road. I, I heard your horn. Oh. Yeah. Besides, nobody comes up this road unless they're looking to get something fixed. I was looking for you. Um, I have this table. Oh, oh well. Here it is. That's a beauty. Yeah, it was a gift. I hate to have to throw it away. Throw it away? You don't want to throw something away just because it's broke. Oh, that's okay. The flatliners are either too prepared or not prepared at all. Is this what you've made all this from? Most of it. Ah. It's amazing. I like to rethink things that well, most people would probably think are worthless or broken. 
forgotten or lost. In the right hands, a flaw can be the most beautiful part of something. It's what makes it special. That's a new beginning, don't you think? Oh well, that's how I believe that God thinks of me. to go, but I'm making progress. What do you think changed? I... I met someone. Go on. Well, not like that. I met someone who reminded me of something that I used to know. Just been running from disappointment to disappointment, feeling so broken. And my life now is so different than I thought it would be. And now I know that I am broken. We all are. But that doesn't mean we're not worth it. It doesn't mean we're not loved. It just means that we can't fix it by ourselves. We can't force it. We have to receive it and stop fighting it. I think there's real hope in that. Hope for what? A new beginning.